Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello. Good morning. Shannon has generously sent us all of these amazing Canadian breakfast cereals. Some of them we get here. Which one are you interested in the most? Um, can you guess? No, it's too hard. Roasted flakes. Roasted flakes. You know what one interests me? Corn pops, because we do not get corn pops here. Have you ever seen those before? Yeah. You have? No. So you want to try Frosted Flakes first? Yeah, I think okay. it's like what we have here, isn't it? I have not had Frosted Flakes in a very, very long time. Open them. Open Doing them. it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ah. Very nice today, sweetheart. Ah. I don't do mornings and you know it. Yeah, and I'll get a better angle of you. Far, far away. Go up the backyard. It's nicely organised. Look at all of that. Except for the black plastic wrap in the No, no. That adds real life in it. Today is Frosted Flakes. What's Tiggy. the name of the tiger? Tigger. Tom, Trevor. I don't know. Is his name Trevor? Isn't it Cornelius or something? Cornelius? Leave a comment below if you remember the tiger's name. You know what I used to remember? Wasn't it Frosted Flakes? They're great. Mate. Hissy's come to join us. Good morning, Hissy. Wow, hope you're not hungry. <laughs> That's probably a recommended serving size, you know. Let's see how it fills up a bowl. Yeah, this is ginormous bowl, though. You know, that's probably enough. That's probably a good size serving for breakfast. Are <laughs> so you going to put any strawberries on them like they show on the packet? Maybe. As requested by Tim, I'm putting some strawberries on. I'm going to put some milk on my one. I don't have a lot of milk. Tim does. Tim drowns his. Mm. Wow. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like a candy over it, isn't it? Mm. Sugary covering. Makes them really crunchy. They are really, really sugary. Mm -hmm. And like, I really like it. As a kid, this is something that I would have wanted for breakfast. Must have a lot of sugar in it. Mm -hmm. right. mm. Milk, corn, sugar, <laughs> corn and barley, malt extract, salt, color, color, vitamins and minerals. Really? I've got color in it. Brilliant. You would not know. Would you have it as a breakfast cereal? Well, I'm there. No, I wouldn't. Why? Is it just a no, I wouldn't, full stop? Mm. It's nice, but I don't think it's very good for you. Yeah. Too much sugar for morning. Oh, look, it's definitely not good for you, but do I like them? Yes, I do. And if this was brought to me as a kid, because I was never allowed to have stuff like this as a kid. Well, you're making up for it now, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, mm. I like it. I like it, but I don't think I'd eat it. Like, if I went to the shops, I wouldn't buy a big packet of, maybe little packs like that, once in a while. But the thing is, they're like corn flakes on steroids. Mm. You know the thing about the frosted flakes though? Mm -hmm. It turns the milk really sweet. What milk, Tammy? You don't put milk in I your cereal. I put milk in, I just <laughs> don't drown it. Because I like my cereal to still stay crispy. Let me know in the comments below, do you like a lot of milk or a little milk? So this morning, we're gonna be trying some corn pops. And yeah. I'm excited about this one. You'd think it'd be something from America, not Canada, wouldn't you? Because America has so many corn starch products. How do you know these aren't in America? We don't, but it says it's Canada. Yep. See, they'd have to get their corn from somewhere, wouldn't they? Fields. Cornfields, yes. <laughs> okay, so open it up. Oh, wow, oh. they're bigger than I thought. Yeah, they are bigger than what I thought. That's all you get. The last time we had this, remember we've got the portion out and you said, well, that's not very much. But after you actually eat that, I actually felt full. Did you? Yeah, because of the strawberries. Okay, we'll just put a little bit of banana on these ones, put some milk on. This is mine, so we're only going to touch it with milk. Tim's, let's drown it. Say when. When? Oh, we're going outside to have our breakfast. Mmm. Yeah. Sweeter than what I thought they were going to be. Mm. They're a little bit like when frosty fruits or frosty flakes have married rice bubbles and they've gotten impregnated and they're big and puffy. They're dense. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're really puffy. Mm, actually, they're a lot denser than what I thought they were going to be, right? A unique flavour. Unique as in I don't like them? Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Would I go out of my way to buy them to eat again? No. Because that would mean you'd be going to Canada. That would be going out of your way. Yeah. 
and we're not allowed to travel right now. But when Kansas comes in, that's Canada, Australia, United Kingdom and New Zealand joined together as a superpower, <laughs> we can go there for free. I've heard about this. Let us know in the comments below if you've heard about this. I don't know if I'd get it over another breakfast cereal, but I don't mind it and I'm glad I tried it. Banana's nice in it. It does taste heavily processed. So after reviewing this cereal, your mm. favourite part of this is the banana. Yeah. Tastes like they've gotten some cornstarch or corn flour and just got their hands and formed little balls and somehow baked it. A very corny aftertaste. Well, since. they are called corn pops. Yeah, I know. You get what you get. We have two lots of breakfast cereal left. Rice Krispies, not rice bubbles. You reckon they're the same thing? Yes, it's got snap, crackle Maybe. and pock on it. Pop. Pop. <laughs> snap, crackle and pop. pop. Snap, crackle. <laughs> crackle. Snap, crackle and pop, she said. <laughs> Are they elves? Are they people? I think they're little cereal elves. I've also got Fruit Loops. I've never been a huge fan of Fruit Loops. First time I tried Fruit Loops, I was really excited. Never allowed to have them as a kid. I went to a friend's place and stayed overnight and I thought, yippee, now's my time. She was allowed to have things like Fruit Loops and those really sugary cereals. So I finally tried them and I didn't like them. Yeah. I did not like them. There was such a big marketing campaign on them with kids, weren't they? Sam Toucan all the time. Fruit Loops, they're great. To boot or something like that, wasn't it? Instead of having Fruit Loops, why don't you just have Rice Krispies and put some fruit in them? We'll do it that way. You just happen to have some fruit, do you? Oh, you did oh, too. Wow. wow. Here's some fruit I prepared earlier. Strawberries, blueberries, and banana. We're gonna go one up on the pack. It's only got strawberries. So yeah. That's how we do it in Australia, by the way. <laughs> we always go cool. a little bit better. I'm sure. Okay, there's your packet. All right, look at that. Yep. They look a little bit different to our rice bubble pun. They look really? flatter. They do look flatter. They're like, different, they're not the same. They've been deflated a little. Our rice bubbles are round, like oval shape. Can you open mine for me, because I can't do it. I can't open mine either. They're definitely flatter. Deflated rice bubbles are called Rice Krispies, and it's the ones that we don't use, the ones we reject. Go to Canada, and they make Rice Krispies out of them. Mate. Our cousins love Canada. And that's what they look like, guys. Isn't that exciting? Oh, we'll put, put the milk first. No! You oh, put 100%. The milk no, no, no. I do it different. No, because otherwise you're drowning the fruit. You Leave put... a comment below which way you go. <laughs> Banana. Oh, it's nicely cut up, Tim. All right, you do your own. So, Tim has I, put his fruit on the I put cereal. put my fruit in, then I put my milk on. Baby, get your milk on. I've got it on. Yeah. There you go, look at that floating oh. in a bath of milk. <laughs> it's drowning. <laughs> This is how you do it. This is how you do it, all right? You put your milk in first, right? And and you don't want to drown it because that's ridiculous and you don't get to taste your amazing Rice Krispies. And then, see how you're... And while she carries on, my Rice Krispies are getting soggy. But that's okay, no, no, Tim. Just, no. just take your yeah. time. <laughs> no, no, you've done it wrong. That's all I'm trying to point out. Your fruit goes It'd on. It'd be good to see you putting it in the plate instead of covering it with a board. Okay, so then I put my fruit on and it's magic. It's much better. See, yours looks like it's struggling. Yeah, but those strawberry flavourings getting into the milk where no, yours it's just going to be dried. You've got to say, wrong. it's unbelievable. <laughs> mm. Just like rice bubbles. Yeah. Quite flatter. I've had rice bubbles for years. We don't buy them anymore, do we? No, I quite like them though. They're not really sugary. They're just like little pops of air. Little pops of air, are they? Little. Oh dear. And I really like the addition of the fruit on it. Yes. It gives it that nice little bit of sweetness. And it's not fake sweetness. It's real goodness sweetness. A little bit of relief from the pops of air. Well, I always find when I have cereal that I dribble it down my chin. Yeah. Always. That's what you do when you eat all the time, hon. <laughs> It's drool. You see no, food and you no. start to drool. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> don't you do that? You, you dribble? You, you know what dribble. it's called, don't you? The rabbit effect. Oh gosh, I don't even know what that is. What is that? You know, you go frothing at the mouth and you got rabies. We don't have rabies here in Australia, by the way. Bats have something that's very similar, though. If you touch a bat over here, you die. Because if they bite you, you die. If you touch a shark, you die. Mm -hmm. If you touch a snake, you die. I touched a snake once. <laughs> Would you get them again? Are they a breakfast cereal that you enjoy? I do enjoy them. They bring back a lot of memories from childhood. You know what I used to do? Rice bubbles with hot milk. It instantly goes soggy, but that's what I used to do. They're disgusting when you think about it. And when I think back the taste, it wasn't that good. Did you ever do that, guys? Leave a comment, let me know. I like this. I would eat this again. Mm. 
This morning we're going to be having some Fruit Loops. If there is a cereal that reflects anyone's personality, it's this for Tim. Oh. Now this is one that I haven't particularly been looking forward to, but you never know. Sometimes you can retry something and find out that you, you suddenly like it. Yeah, I haven't had these since the last time I tried them. Yeah, I know. Oh gosh. <laughs> Tim's still in his pajamas. I am too, actually. Are you? Yeah, underneath here. Okay. I just put a t-shirt on so this morning. Why'd you tell everybody? <laughs> I don't know. I've ruined the magic now. No, there's no magic this morning though. No hair, no makeup done or anything no like hair, that. No makeup. <laughs> no hair. Sam Toucan. Remember him? Of course I do. He's right there. Let's have a look, huh? I remember the last time I had these, I thought they were just too sweet. Whoa. You know what? They don't look as vibrant colour-wise as I remember Smell them. the box. Why? It's much like cardboard. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> you have these with milk, you're just going to eat them like lollies. Oh. Mm. It smells quite fruity. You're just having it straight. Are the different Fruit Loops different That's what I'm trying. Flavors? I just had a purple one. I'm an orange. What's the orange one taste like orange? They taste the same to me. Do they taste no. the same? A discovery. The different flavours of different fruits, they go crunch to boot. Put some milk in. Drown it in milk. Do you know you used to get cocoa pops you used to mix it around until you got the chocolate milk? Yeah, that doesn't happen with these, does it? <laughs> really nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> They have like a stale consistency. Do you know what I mean? They're a little bit chewy. No, I don't think they do taste stale. To me, no. I think they taste better than what I remember them. I didn't say they tasted stale. I said a stale consistency, a little bit chewy. But I think they're quite crunchy. But they're chewy as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have got a fruity taste to them. Mm. It's something that I don't think I particularly would have again for breakfast. If I'm gonna go towards a sweet, breakfast cereal. I go for something that's chocolatey or just sweet but not fruity. Yeah well I did say before I haven't had these since the last time I've had them yeah I'll have to say this will be the last time I have them. Mm. I don't think I'd ever eat them again. If it was the last thing on earth and you were gonna die you'd rather die? You couldn't live on this. You could. You could for like a couple of months then you'd die. <laughs> More? <laughs> This is Tammy, Tammy's morbid routine. I mean morning routine. She beats me up with boxes. Look, it's all right. Could you eat it for breakfast? Yes, because here we are eating it for breakfast. But I don't think I'd return to it again. Let me know in the comments below if you love Fruit Loops, if this is your favorite cereal. They are crunchy. They're fruity, but like a sweet, fake, fruity taste. But yeah, they're crunchy, but did you notice they got that? Oh no, we're going back to the stale thing again. Stale so notice... sort of consistency. <laughs> Tim's out. Thank you so much, Shannon, for sending us these selection of cereals. We do really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Shannon, because without her, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. Cheeky Tam here, and Tim. Hello. Okay, that was really creepy. <laughs>